Hi, and welcome back to The Rubber Broom. My name is Chris Colley, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I'm going to share with you how to make this coaster. And this is a coaster that I shared with my demonstrator friends last night. They all enjoyed it, so I thought I would share it with you this morning. For this coaster, I have used some Beyond the Garden Designer Series paper, which is available in our summer mini catalog. It's item number 122342, and it's 1095. When you're making your coasters, you will also need a coaster base. I actually am going to be using just a 4x4 cardboard or paper coaster, coaster, similar to what you would get at a restaurant or bar. You will need two pieces of sticky adhesive and this is called Big Shot Multi-Purpose Adhesive. It comes in 12 12 by 12 sheets. It's item number 120805 and it's $14.95. And this is of course the designer series paper that I mentioned to you at the beginning of the video. And this is a window sheet. It's just a clear plastic sheet. It comes in two thicknesses, a medium or thick thick. The medium is item number 114323 and you get two 12 by 12 sheets for $4.95 if you're ordering the thick. It is item number 114324 and you get two 12 by 12 sheets for $6.95. For this project I did use the medium weight window sheet. What I did was I cut all of the pieces that I would be needing into 4x4 four four sections or pieces because that was the size of the coaster that I was going to be starting with. So what you're going to do when you're making your coaster <clears throat> is to start off with your base and then you're going to take your little sticky adhesive piece and you're going to peel it away from the backing. There's printing on one side and it's clear on the other side. And in order to separate this, I am just going to fold the corner of it. It's a little bit hard. You can just stick your nail right under there and separate them, but that's a little bit difficult for me to do and takes a few minutes. So I'm just going to fold my corner over, and then I'm going to take my paper piercer and stick it right in the, the center where that fold is there. And that will allow me to just pop it up and peel that piece back. or maybe it will. Let's see if I can try it this way. I want to get it so you can see. There we go. Got it. And then I'm just going to peel that piece right back. And this is sticky in between these two pieces. So you want to avoid touching it as much as you can so you don't get the sticky stuff all over your hands. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel back one edge of it. Just lightly peel back that whole edge so I have the, the paper sticking up there. And then I'm going to take my coaster. This will work great on a cork sheet also if you happen to have one of those. But I'm just going to place the sticky down at the edge of my coaster. Let's flip it this way so you can get the whole thing in there. And then I'm going to just take, flip it up this way, and take the rest of my sticky strip backing off. Or my adhesive sheet backing, I guess it is. And then I'm just going to, <clears throat> excuse me, stick that all down. I'm just going to run my finger over the whole thing, my thumb, to make sure it's all stuck on there. And then what you're going to do is peel the backing off your multi-purpose adhesive sheet. And again, you want to try not to touch the sticky area. So we're just going to peel our backing right off there. And you can see it looks kind of sparkly in the camera here. But that actually is the glue that's on your adhesive sheet. And then I'm just going to take my piece of designer series paper and place it right on top of my coaster so that it sticks 
to my adhesive. And don't worry if you don't get it straight or don't cover these areas because we are going to be cutting it out with the circle die. And then I'm going to take my other piece of adhesive. So you're going to need two pieces of the adhesive and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to separate it and pull the words down. And I'm going to adhere the top of it right on top of my designer series paper. So it's going to go right over the designer series paper that I just put on there. And then again, I'm just going to flip it up, peel the rest of my backing off, and rub my thumb over it to make sure it's on there. We want it to be really very well adhered to our coaster. And then again, I'm going to just peel this piece away and you'll be able to see the little sparkly or sticky on your designer piece of paper now. And I'm going to give my little window sheet a shake and get all the dog hair and things off it. And that I'm going to stick right on top of my multi-purpose adhesive. And again, I'm just going to Rub it with my thumb there and make sure it's adhered really well to my multi-purpose adhesive page. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to take my <clears throat> three and a half inch circle die. This is a big die for your big shot. And I'm going to place my coaster face up. And I am placing it face up on my die because that way any area in here where I haven't attached anything on top of my sticky strip or multi-purpose adhesive sheet there is going to be sticky and I don't want to get the sticky onto my die. So I'm going to put that face up and then that extra sticky will actually be on my plastic piece as opposed to my die. And I'm going to grab my Big Shot here. I'm going to put a clear piece on the bottom for my sandwich, so I have a clear piece. And then again, I have my three and a half inch circle die and a clear piece on top of that. And I am just going to run that through my Big Shot. Once it's all sandwiched up there. We'll get these pieces out of the way so you can see your finished product here. So I have my square, the coaster size that I started off with, and I'm just going to pop up my circle die right out of there. And there you have it. It's just as easy as that to make a wonderful coaster. Using your My Digital Studio or MDS, you can personalize these. You can actually make it out of designer series paper that you don't have. So this makes a really great gift idea. If you're going to a shower or if you're having an open house, we will be making more of these at my new catalog open house in, the, in July. And what I did was I just took my four coasters and put them all together and wrapped them with a little ribbon for gift giving. So it looks very festive that way. Thanks for stopping by the rubber room today. And I will put these measurements and item numbers on after the on my post after the video. So if you need to order any of those items, you can do it right from my blog site. And I hope that you will. Thank you and have a great week. Bye.